بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک فرنس ویلکم بیک ٹو ریدر ویڈو لیکچر بائی کامی مایکرو بیل جسٹ ٹوڈے ان دس ویڈو لیکچر وی ارگون ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ایس ٹی اے میڈیا اور وی کن سی سب براڈ ڈیکس ٹروز ایگر میڈیا دس ایس ایکچولی ایس سیلیکٹو میڈیا ویچ ایس پیشلی یوز فور فنجائی اور فنگس ایسولیشن نو دس میڈیا واس پرسٹ آف آر ڈسکور بائی ایس ای فرنچ درمیٹالیجسٹ نیم ری ریمنڈ جے اے سب براڈ ان ایٹین نائنٹی ٹو نو دس میڈیا ایس پیشلی یوز فور دا ایسولیشن آف فنجائی لائک ایسٹ مولڈ and dermato, uh, dermatophytes if we talked about the bacteria so mostly we isolate acid uric bacteria moreover it is also used for the isolation of pathogenic as well as non-pathogenic fungi now the addition of antibiotic in this media may inhibit the growth of bacteria as well as some other bacteria uh, some other fungi thus we have only pathogenic fungi which can easily grow on this media then we can use this media for the microbial contamination that is present in food cosmetic and clinical specimen now let's talk that what type of ingredient present in this media so remember guys this media contain dextrose that is actually fungal glucose and it is 40 gram for one liter then we have peptic digest of animal tissue which we need 5 gram for 1 liter agar 15 gram for 1 liter pancreatic casein digest 5 gram for 1 liter let's talk about the principle of this ingredient now remember guys this uh, enzymatic digest of casein and animal tissue can provide the amino acid nitrogenous compound that are specially used for the fungi growth and yeast and fungi growth then we have dextrose that is actually the carbohydrate of uh, fungi and when it is fermented uh, so what we get we get a large amount of bacterial uh, fungal growth uh, because these uh, dextrose act as a carbon and energy source for the fungal divided and growth uh. then we have agar that is acting as a solidifying agent which actually providing a stable surface through which the uh, the fungal uh, can easily be grow then we have you know uh, different types of antibiotic which we add in this media uh, that is actually broad spectrum antibiotic like uh, chloramphenicol tetracycline and gentamicin that will inhibit the growth of gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria now let's talk that how we can prepare this media this media is specially prepared to suspend 65 gram powder of sda media in one liter then heat mix it boil the, uh, for uh, almost one minute to dissolve completely after that autoclave it at 121 degrees celsius for 15 minute then once after the autoclave so then cool down the temperature of uh, this media uh, once the temperature is reached to 50 to 45 degrees celsius then pour it into sterilized petri plate or in tube and in tube if if we pour it in tube so then we mostly make the slant then what we will do we will have to process the specimen so we have to process the specimen by streak it using sterile wire loop after that we will incubate it at a temperature of 25 to 30 degrees centigrade remember guys in the previous videos lecture we talked to different culture media and uh, when we uh, you know incubate the plate uh, so we mostly use 37 degrees celsius so bacteria are mostly you know uh, grow at 37 degrees celsius but in this case fungi are mostly grow at 25 degrees celsius to 30 degrees celsius after after that uh, uh, you know we have to examine the plate uh, of four to six week after four to six week the plate should be examined for the fungal growth then what type of the fungi can easily be grow on this media so remember guys uh, on this media candida albicans grow which is yeast like bacteria and it have uh, creamy colonies uh, creamy white colonies uh. then we have uh, uh, let me show the candida albicans so as you can see these are the candida albicans uh. so creamy white colonies you can see 
Then we have uh, aspergillus which can showing yellow green powder and pale yellowish on reservoir. So let me show aspergillus flavors. You can see greenish colonies. Okay. Then we have uh, asp aspergillus niger that is spares flat growth and black center with white margin on all the media. So let me show aspergillus there as you can see blackish white. So these are the growth of aspergillus niger. Then we have the growth of rudotorola species which can produce pinkish organish uh, creamy colony. So let me show. Now you can see rudotorola which can creamy pinkish colonies. Then we have trichosporon mucoids uh, which can showing white to creamy yellowish wrinkled colony. So let me show as you can see these are what these are trigomycoid colonies. Then we have uh, Pencilium uh, galberum that can show shades of green sometimes whitish colony mostly. So let me show the Pencilium galberum so as you can see these are the Pencilium galberum. Then we have uh, Sporothrix shenki that mostly produce initially creamy color turns brown blacks when it mature. So these are the Sporothrix shekeni colonies. Then we have uh, Basidomycota dermatitis that mostly produce light yellow with white margins. So let me show Basidomycota. As you can see these are the Basidomycota white, yellowish and white like colonies. We have mold which produce whitish with black pigmentation. So these are the mold with whitish black pigmentation. Then we have Nocardia which is actually filamentous bacteria that mostly produce whitish large colony. So you can see these are Nocardia bacteria so whitish uh, colonies you can see. So this is all about SDA media I hope you understand. Thanks for watching.